it's time for another espresso mail call. This time I've got some slabs and a return from CGC. Stay tuned for the video. Anachronic. Hi, comic guys and gals. I'm Joe and welcome to Anachronic Comics. So in this espresso mail call, I've got three boxes. The first is from a Facebook seller that I frequent. Usually has stuff for a few dollars that are there. Now, the interesting thing about it is, like a couple of others, he will hold on to the books until you get to a certain amount. And I had forgotten, but over the last few months, I bought one here, two there. And so he wrote to me, he goes, hey Joe, you want me to send you this stuff? I have a whole package of it for you. I said, oh yeah, <laughs> go ahead and do it. I had just forgotten about it. So, I've got his package here, pre-opened it. He uses peanuts, which were a little bit of a problem when I opened it up. It ended up going all over the place, but you can see it's really well packed. And he's used some blue painted tape here as well. Definitely going to reuse this bubble wrap here. You take it off. I really don't remember what I bought because I bought it over the space of a number of months. So, it's quite a bunch of comic books here. Let's see what we got. First one. Oh, another number one for the number one box. Tale of the New Teen Titans, number one. Cyborg. Very cool. Next one, let's say. Oh, an oldie but oldie. Not in the greatest of shape, but an old 12 sensor. Superman number 167. Looks like Luther and Brainiac. I have teamed up uh, to go after the Man of Steel. Okay. Next one. First issue special, DC The Creeper. 25 cents comic book, another number one. Oh, this one looks in really bad shape. Oh, uh... ah, wait a minute. That's just the box. The backboard he uses a real old backboard. Alan Scott Argus, DC. Showcase, now, oh, Showcase 95, yeah. I think this was the second volume of Showcase. Supergirl, one of 12. I remember seeing this one on the stands. Next one. Uh, oh, Pacific Comics, issue number 10. Captain Victory and the Galactic Rangers. Nice cover. Dollar comic book. It's a big surprise issue. I'll have to see what the surprise is. Then. Next one. Oh, nice shape, too. Giant Batman. August number 213. And he's got... Let's see, it says Milwaukee. It's got a little stamp there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's from Milwaukee. It might be somebody's name on that. It's pretty cool, the origin of Alfred. Next one. Oh. Cool. Cool. Look at Charlton. U.S. Air Force. Master Blaster. U.S. Air Force. There you go. X Hot Rock. He had every essential requirement except guts. <laughs> How cool is that? when that is. It's a 12 cents comic book though. Next one. Another one. U.S. Air Force July. This one just says rat -a -tat, tat 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 on the cover. There we go. Oh, a 10 cents. Adventure Comics. Pa Kent becomes Superman and he's now going to take over watching over Smallville. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Some stains on this one, but <laughs> Lois Lane is selling kisses and all the superheroes are lining up. Look at that. Nice, huh? It's got a rip here too. It's missing some paint. It's missing some of the cover. But I just like love this cover. I don't even remember buying this, but it's cool. Adventure Comics. 
Bizarro Titano, the Kuki Super 8. Another 12 center. Another Adventure Comics. The Runaway Town. And another one. Superboy's first duel with Lex Luthor. Let's see. April. It's a 10 cents comic, so it goes way back. And another one. Another 10 center. Number 279. Superboy in the 50th century. Nice. And on to Marvel, number one, a 30 cents comic, The Human Fly. That was number one, right? And here's number two, The Human Fly. And guess what? Here's number three, The Human Fly. And guess what? Here's number four. The human fly. And you'll never guess. Last one in the box. Number five, the human fly. So I got the first five of these. They're all in decent shape. 35 cents comic book. I'm not sure. It says copyright 1977 Marvel. So I guess these are from 1977. So very cool. So that was from a Facebook seller that I frequent, a guy named Chris. Does a nice job with his comic books. Now, on to the first set of slabs. This box, which I pre-opened, comes from Slabbed Heroes. They just had a sale recently where if you bought one, a lot of bubble wrap to get through here. If you bought one, you can buy a second one at 50% off. But to me, that sounded pretty good. So I went looking for um, reason, but there was one that I wanted, but I thought it was just over, overly priced. I can't remember which one it was now, but I, there was one that I wanted, uh, and I just decided not to spend the money on it. But um, I did pick up two. All right. Oh. Some more blue tape. Tape them together. One second here. All right. Take them out of the uh, plastic so you can see them a little bit better. Right. First one was Spider Woman number seven, variant edition, hidden gem variant cover. Get that clear out there. Very cool. 9.8. Carla Pacheco story, Pere Perez art, and George Perez cover. I guess that, that's what kind of got me to it, the George Perez cover. That's very cool. Now the next one that I got, which was really cool, I was really, this is one that I saw right away that I wanted to get. It's an Alex Ross cover. It's Spider-Woman number five, a Ross sketch cover. Take a look at that. Isn't that cool? It's like a charcoal cover. Very nice. So two 9.8s, um, white pages on this one and white pages on the other. So I was pretty stoked about this one and I like the other one, George Perez cover, so I thought they were two good ones. Now, last one is my CGC box. Now, you guys may remember, and if you don't, I'm going to put the link up here and at the end of the video. I had a video out where I asked uh, people which one of two books should I send in from uh, my comics, my mom let me keep collection for Roy Thomas signature event. Many people said, send them both, send them both. Well, I'm just going to send one. And um, when I went over it online, and again, when you take a look at the video, you could see. What I did was, I took a look at it and I estimated that um, before, I went through the whole thing and showed all the creases and all that, and I thought before a uh, cleaning, and it was a pretty clean book, and a press, it would probably be something like around a 3.5. And I thought that afterwards we might get clearly a bump to a 4, 
but more likely a 4.5, and if we were having a good day, a 5.0. So I was pretty much spot on on that. Here it is, Amazing Spider-Man 101, signed by Roy Thomas on September 10th, 2021. Roy Thomas story, Bill Kane, and John Romita cover. Cream to off-white, not surprising. 4.5. Signed by Roy, right there in the POW kind of area. Did a nice job there. I believe that's where I asked him to sign it. Presents pretty well. Not bad. Looks nice. Maybe we'll put up on the wall over here. So we got a 4.5, so we're right on. And a few of the people that put in comments have also had indicated that they thought it would be somewhere between a 4 and a 5. So I think we're all kind of spot on with that. So uh, this is really cool. Um, I got one more Roy Thomas that I got him to sign at the um, uh, Providence uh, uh, Comic Con that we went to. So when the other one comes in that he signed, maybe I'll have them both up on the wall here once I put this together. So that is today's Today's espresso mail call.